All right, welcome back. It's Saturday morning and we're loading up. We're getting ready for a big project. We got Amanda's brand new 19 sear variable speed cube system. And it's also going to be a dual fuel. It means we're going to have a gas furnace and a heat pump unit outside. All it means is that customer is going to be saving tons of money on their electricity and on their gas bill. So stay tuned. We got a bunch of duct work. We got to load up. We got a bunch of materials and I can't wait. So let's get it. Welcome back to the channel everybody. Today is another great day here at Prime AC and Heat. Check it out. Today we're installing Amana's brand new ASZ V9. That's the brand new SEER 2 heat pump from Amana. It's also an inverter unit, so this thing is going to be sweet. One of the awesome things about this particular project, it's also a dual fuel. That means we're going to have a gas furnace in the attic and a heat pump unit outside. What that translates to is this customer is going to be saving on electricity and it's going to be saving on their gas bill. So stay tuned as we embark on this beautiful day and get this installation going. Let's go meet up with the guys in the attic and see how they're taking that old unit apart. <music> So we're up here in the attic and as you can see our guys are working super hard to get all of this 30 year old equipment and ductwork out of here. Super excited to see the new Amana dual fuel furnace up here and like always we're going to be installing our hung right kit. Remember that's what's going to hold this unit together. So no more straps. This is plumber strap here. We're going to be bolting it to the rafter so it's going to look nice and leveled and sturdy. Um, so super excited for that. Let's head outside. Let's take a look at what's going on out there and see what kind of changes we're going to be making. And here it is, 30 year old unit, definitely seen better days in its life. As you can tell, one of the first things that started to fail is the concrete slab. I mean, this thing's pretty much disintegrated itself. We got a condenser coil over here that's completely corroded. So we're just super excited to see Amana's brand new dual fuel ASZV9 SEER 2 system installed. Man, that thing is going to be a beast. One of the key features on that system is the inverter technology. What that means is that system is going to modulate throughout the whole day, keeping the perfect temperature inside of this customer's home. We're also going to be replacing the copper line set. Obviously, we're going to be doing the concrete pad all the electrical, the disconnects, and that's just gonna ensure that that system performs and lasts for many, many years. So let's go take a look at the guys and see what they've taken out of that attic and continue on with the day. All right, wow. Hard to believe all of this was up in that attic, but that's what 30 year old unit and ductwork looks like. Come take a peek inside it. Now, I don't think that's healthy to breathe, but nonetheless, we're going to be replacing all of the ductwork. We're going to be including our April air filtration system, our Apo X UV light. All of that translates to this customer is going to have some of the cleanest airs that they can breathe inside of that home. So, super excited to continue to see this process, but there it is. 30 year old ductwork and system and the original furnace. So we got our condenser in place, as you can tell. Went ahead and leveled it out with the gravel. And we got a fresh concrete pad here. Come take a look at the key feature of the system. Now the ASZV9 features an inverter board and variable speed condenser fan motor. So this system's gonna ramp up and down depending on the demand inside. We also replaced the line set here and installed a brand new line set cover as well as a new disconnect box and our best friend, the surge protector. This is designed to take any brunt force from the electrical system and make it happen, especially here in Texas. So everything looks good out here. Let's go check on the guys inside. So here it is, man. The guys worked really hard to get everything out of here. Pretty open space uh, with all the duct work and everything removed. They're gonna have a really good uh, canvas to get this new unit installed. So really looking forward to that. They're getting all the gas line, electrical, 
the plumbing pretty much cleaning everything up here um, so that we can get this new system installed but this is what uh what an attic looks like when we remove 30 year old worth of duct work and systems out of it <music> Let me talk to you about the new Amana Smart Thermostat. This is a critical component for our S-Series and our V9-Cube systems. It is a Wi-Fi enabled thermostat, which means the customer is able to control it from their phone. It also has full communication with the outside and the inside equipment, providing that level of comfort that we're after. Uh, it also has software inside that allows us to remote into it and perform any kind of diagnostics so we can catch problems before they surface. So, it's also one of the best looking thermostats out there. So let's uh, let's go see how the guys are doing. You can see everything's now suspended on a hung right kit. Basically everything is gonna be nice and level. The guys are working hard to get all the ducts situated, nice and strapped. He's cutting the copper to the proper length that we need. Looks like it's coming along quite nicely. So we're in the hallway. Here's the original thermostat to that 30 year old system. It's a one heat, one cool, no smart capabilities built into it. And that's where we introduce Amana's smart Wi-Fi thermostat. So the first thing we gotta do, is we gotta take it off the wall and install this bad boy. So let's do it. Okay, and that's how you install Amana's brand new Wi-Fi smart thermostat. So once the guys finish everything up and they get the unit powered on, we'll come back to this unit and we'll show you some of the awesome features the new Amana Wi-Fi thermostat has to offer. Okay, so right now our installer Jonathan is performing a nitrogen pressure test. This is a critical step in the installation process. It's going to help ensure that we find any leaks that were created on either the indoor welds or the outdoor welds. Now, Amana wants us to hold around 350 PSI, and if it passes that test, we're on to the next, which is the evacuation part. So, are we going to pass the test, Jonathan? I think we are. Okay, so we just passed the nitrogen pressure test. The very next step we gotta do is the evacuation or the vacuum. So the way that we set up this vacuum system here is as follows. We got our vacuum system, our vacuum pump, connected to a single hose into our suction line, and then we got our micron gauge on the liquid line. Now this particular system here calls for 250 microns, and that's very important and critical to ensure that there's no contamination or any kind of moisture inside of that line. So let's go ahead and start it up, and let's get down to 250 microns. Okay, so let's go take a look at the micron. Now remember, we were shooting for 250 microns, okay? Now we've been running this vacuum for roughly around three hours now, but we don't guess here, okay? We only go by facts. So let's go take a look and see what the micron gauge says. And we're at 180 microns. I think we've succeeded our expectations on that. So the very next step that we're gonna do here is we have to perform a DK test. What that means is we're gonna shut off the vacuum, we're gonna close off the valve, and we're gonna see if that micron pressure actually holds up. What we don't wanna see is this system shoot over 500 microns. So if we can maintain between 180 to 500 within the next 30 minutes, we'll be ready to open up the refrigeration circuit and get this system started up. So let's do that now. Okay, so we'll check back in 10 minutes 
and see if we're still holding 180 microns. It's been 10 minutes and it's still holding 180 microns. I would say that's a pass. So we should expect that, especially since we ran new copper line sets. There was no oil, no contaminants. We ran a great nitrogen test. We passed that and the vacuum pulled it down far exceeding what the manufacturer is requesting of this. So let's go ahead and open up the circuits and get that refrigerant flowing in here before we proceed with the startup. <music> Now this process again is very critical to ensure the longevity and the overall performance of the system here. We know we ran a great pressure test, we know we ran a great vacuum, and now we know we have opened up the refrigerant circuit to the optimal conditions inside of that copper. So next step is let's go upstairs, ensure that everything is done correctly, and we'll start the startup procedure. system um, up and running this is the Amana Wi-Fi thermostat it's hooked up to the internet so it's always constantly updating itself and ensuring that this system is performing at its maximum efficiency one of the awesome features about this thermostat aside from being Wi-Fi and being able to control it it will monitor the air quality in and outside of the home to ensure that the system is performing and the air that the customer is breathing is always the cleanest. So let's go take a look at the attic and see how the indoor unit came out. The finished product I cannot believe well actually I can't believe because we have some of the best installers ever these guys work so hard throughout the whole day removing all that old duct removing all that old units and here's the finished product so first thing we want to show you here is the entire indoor equipment we got the furnace the evaporator coil the drain pan the drain lines we redid we added all the safety features to that redid the gas uh, pipe through the furnace as well. We did the gas line. We added the April air filter that comes in all of our installations. All the ductwork got replaced, nice and hung, strapped. We got the Ys connected correctly. We got the attic tent to ensure we close off all that heat here. And I cannot be happier with the finished product. Um, this customer is going to enjoy this system for many, many years. It's going to be one of the most comfortable homes, some of the cleanest air. And if you and your family are looking for any kind of HVAC services or need any kind of assistance with designing and installing high efficiency air conditioning systems, look for Prime AC and Heat. We're located around the Metroplex and we're here to help. Okay guys, just to show you how quiet this is, come take a peek. you just saw outside Joe that was the ASC V9 Amana heat pump dual fuel inverter system amazing